Imagine with me for a moment, you are on your deathbed taking your final breaths. Looking back at your life, did you spend your time well? Did you make those precious moments count? Or did you let life's most valuable currency slip through your fingers like grains of sand? Right now, in this very moment, you are making a choice. Every breath you take, every second that ticks by, you are choosing how to invest the most precious resource you will ever have. And today, we are going to unlock the secrets of time that the most successful people in history have used to create extraordinary lives. Let me tell you something that changed my life forever. Years ago, I met a homeless man named David on the streets of Vancouver. He was holding a sign that read, I didn't respect time and time didn't respect me. His story shook me to my core. 20 years earlier, he had been a successful executive at a Fortune 500 company. He had it all, the corner office, the luxury car, the beachfront home, but he took time for granted. Just one more drink, he'd say, just one more game. He'd convince himself, I'll start tomorrow, became his life's motto. Tomorrow never came. His addiction to wasting time led to real addictions. He lost his job, his family, and eventually his dignity. David's story isn't just about addiction. It's about the compound effect of how we use our time. Every decision you make about time either moves you toward your dreams or toward your disasters. It's the great equalizer. Every single person on this planet, regardless of their wealth, status, or circumstances, gets exactly the same amount each day. 24 hours, 1440 minutes, 86,400 seconds. Bill Gates can't buy more of it. Elon Musk can't invent more of it. Warren Buffett, with all his billions, receives the same time allowance as you do. Every morning, you wake up to a fresh deposit of 86,400 seconds in your time account. But this is crucial. You must spend all of it that day. You can't save it. You can't store it. You can't borrow more. And what you don't use wisely simply vanishes, forever lost in the sands of time. Let me share something profound with you. In my four decades of studying successful people, I've discovered that time management isn't really about managing time at all. It's about managing yourself. Time continues to flow regardless of what you do. The key is how you flow with it. If you live to be 80 years old, you will have approximately 29,200 days on this planet. Now subtract the days you have already lived. The number you are left with is your current time fortune. How are you going to invest it? I've identified what I call the seven time truths that have transformed millions of lives. Let's dive deep into each one because understanding these principles will revolutionize how you think about and use your time. Truth number one, time is your only non-renewable resource. Money can be earned back. Relationships can be rebuilt. Materials can be replaced. But time, once it's gone, it's gone forever. This makes time the most valuable resource you will ever possess. Let me share a story that illustrates this perfectly. In 1983, uh, young Steve Jobs met with John Scully, trying to convince him to leave Pepsi and join Apple. Jobs asked him one question that changed everything. Do you want to spend the rest of your life selling sugared water, or do you want a chance to change the world? That question wasn't just about career choice. It was about how to invest time, the only resource that truly matters. Truth number two, your use of time reveals your true values. It's easy to say what's important to you, but the reality is written in your calendar. If you say your health is a priority, but you can't find 30 minutes for exercise, you are lying to yourself. If you claim your family comes first, but consistently prioritize work over dinner with your children, your actions are speaking louder than your words. I once worked with a CEO who claimed his greatest regret was not spending enough time with his children during their formative years. He had all the money in the world, but he couldn't buy back those precious moments. The time he traded for success became the price he paid for regret. Truth number three, time multiplies whatever you feed it. This is perhaps the most powerful principle of all. When you invest time in learning, your knowledge multiplies. When you invest time in your health, your energy multiplies. When you invest time in relationships, your connections multiply. But here's the warning. When you invest time in procrastination, your problems multiply too. Consider the story of Amanda Chen, a woman I mentored in 2019. She was struggling graphic designer, barely making ends meet, but she made a decision to invest two hours every morning from 5 a.m. to 7 um, in learning digital marketing. While others slept, she studied. While others watched Netflix, she practiced. 
Within 18 months, she had built a seven-figure digital agency. The time she invested multiplied into expertise, which multiplied into opportunities, which multiplied into success. Truth number four, the highest returns come from time invested in yourself. Educational pioneer Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. But this principle goes beyond just education. Time invested in your physical health, mental well-being, relationships, and personal growth creates compound interest in your life. Let me share a powerful formula I've developed. One hour of planning saves 10 hours of doing. Most people spend their time climbing the ladder of success only to realize too late that it's leaning against the wrong wall. Time spent in preparation and planning pays enormous dividends. Truth number five, time management is really priority management. You will never find time for important things. You must make time. This requires saying no to good things so you can say yes to great things. Every time you say yes to something, you are automatically saying no to everything else you could be doing with that time. I remember consulting with a technology company in Silicon Valley. Their engineers were constantly complaining about not having enough time to innovate. When we analyzed their schedules, we found they were spending 70 of their time in meetings, most of which were unnecessary. By implementing what I call the priority protection protocol, they cut meetings by 60 and innovation increased by 300. They didn't get more time. They just used it more wisely. Truth number six, time flows to value. Time naturally flows toward activities that create the most value. The key is learning to recognize and maximize high value activities while minimizing or eliminating low value activities. Let me introduce you to the concept of time, right? Return on investment. Every activity in your life can be evaluated based on its return on time invested. Reading a good book might have a 10x return. Scrolling through social media might have a 2x return. It actually costs you more than just the time spent. Truth number seven, the present moment is the point of power. The past is gone. The future isn't here yet. Your only point of power is the present moment. This is where all decisions are made. This is where all actions are taken. This is where life actually happens. Now let me share with you my proven system for maximizing your time, what I call the time mastery framework. This system has helped thousands of people double, even triple their productivity while actually working fewer hours. Start your day with what I call a power hour. This is the first hour of your day, and it should be dedicated to your most important goal. No emails, no phone calls, no distractions, just focused work on what matters most. Research shows that your willpower and focus are strongest in the morning. By dedicating your first hour to high priority work, you ensure that what matters most gets done first. Don't just make a to-do list. Schedule everything. What gets scheduled gets done. Break your day into focused blocks of time dedicated to specific activities. This includes breaks and recovery time. I worked with a surgeon who applied this principle to his practice. By time blocking his procedures, consultations, and administrative work, he increased his patient care quality while reducing his working hours by 20. If something takes less than two minutes and needs to be done, do it immediately. But here's the twist. Before doing it, ask yourself, is this the best use of my time right now? Sometimes even two minute tasks should be delegated or eliminated. Every evening, identify your top six priorities for the next day. Rank them in order of importance. The next day, start with number one and don't move to number two until number one is complete. This simple system has helped countless people double their productivity. Your brain can focus intensely for about 90 minutes before it needs a break. Work in 90 minute focus sessions followed by 15 minute breaks. This rhythm aligns with your body's natural cycles and maximizes both productivity and creativity. Now let me share some advanced strategies that the most successful people use to multiply their time. Successful people understand that their time is worth hundreds or thousands of dollars per hour. They religiously delegate anything that someone else can do for less than their hourly value. If your time is worth $200 per hour and you spend an hour doing $20 per hour tasks, you are not saving $20. You are losing $180. Dedicate 30 minutes each day to learning something new in your field. This compounds dramatically over time. In one year, you will have invested 182 five hours in becoming better at what you do. 
Every month, identify and eliminate one-time wasting activity from your life. By the end of the year, you will have reclaimed hundreds of hours for more valuable pursuits. Track your energy levels throughout the day. And schedule your most important tasks during your peak energy periods. This alone can double your productivity without working more hours. Being busy is not the same as being productive. Many people wear busyness as a badge of honor, but it's often a form of laziness, mental laziness in choosing priorities and saying no to non-essential activities. Perfect is the enemy of done. Successful people understand that done is better than perfect. They use the 80-20 rule. Get something eight or right and move on. The remaining 20 often isn't worth the time investment. The average person spends over four hours per day on their smartphone. That's 60 days per year. Imagine what you could accomplish with an extra 60 days each year. Take out your phone and check your screen time for the last week. Multiply that by 52 weeks. That number represents the days of your life you are giving to your device each year. Is that investment giving you the returns you want? This is perhaps the deadliest time killer of all. I'll Start Tomorrow has killed more dreams than all other words combined. Remember, tomorrow is a mythical land where 99 of all human productivity, motivation, and achievement is stored. Let me share a story that changed how I think about procrastination. In 2015, I met a young entrepreneur named Michael. He had a brilliant business idea, but kept waiting for the perfect time to start. One day, he was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and given six months to live. Suddenly, tomorrow wasn't guaranteed. He launched his business from his hospital bed and built it to seven figures in five months. He beat the cancer, but he never forgot the lesson. The perfect time is now. Time is not just about duration. It's about donation. It's not just about how long you live, but what you give to the world while you are here. Every great invention Every masterpiece, every breakthrough in human history was created by people who had the same 24 hours per day that you have. The difference was in how they chose to use those hours. Let me give you a powerful tool. I call the time value multiplier. Here's how it works. One, list all your regular activities. Two, rate each activity from 110 based on its long-term value to your goals. Three, track how much time you spend on each activity. Four, multiply the time by the value rating. Five, this gives you your time value score for each activity. This exercise often reveals shocking insights. Many people discover they are spending 80% of their time on activities rated four or below, while their highest value activities get minimal time. Let me share one final story that encapsulates everything we have discussed. In 2020, just before the pandemic hit, I met a janitor named Ray at a hospital in Boston. Every day, he would arrive 30 minutes early to work and read books about business and psychology. During his breaks, he would take online courses. While cleaning the hospital halls, he would listen to educational podcasts. His colleagues thought he was weird. Why are you studying business? You were just a janitor, they'd say. Ray would smile and respond, I'm not a janitor who reads business books. I'm a future business owner who currently works as a janitor. Today, Ray owns a successful commercial cleaning company with over 100 employees. He still works as a janitor one day a week, not because he needs to, but to remind himself of where he started and to interview potential employees. He understood that it's not about where you start. It's about how you use your time to get where you want to go. The time will pass anyway. The only question is what you will have to show for it when it does. Every moment is a chance to start fresh to make better choices, to invest your time more wisely. Uh, starting tomorrow morning, you will receive another 86,400 seconds. But actually, you don't have to wait until tomorrow. You have the rest of today. You have this moment right now. And in this moment, you can decide to make a change. You can decide to value your time differently. You can decide to invest it rather than spend it. Your time is your life in its raw form. How you use it will determine not just what you achieve, but who you become. The clock is ticking. Your time is now. Use it wisely. Use it well. And use it to create the life you truly want to live. Remember, life is not about finding time. It's about making time for what matters. Your journey to time mastery begins now. The only question is, what will you do with this moment? Thank you for investing your precious time with me today. Now go forth and make every moment count.